Hey everybody, this is Tyler from Canine Connection Dog Training and I just arrived at the Niagara County SPCA where they uh, called me down to take a look at a dog named Gabby who's been here for at least a year I believe and uh, they're really struggling with her. They have not been able to adopt her out. She's got some behavior issues and they're hoping that I can come in and help out a little bit. So even inside the building here, she'll, she'll start her um, sort of craziness? If, if or... I keep her on leash, she probably would. Okay. Um, I mean, I, if I have her up here, I'd leave, she's usually not on leash. She's just kind of playing with toys or whatever. Yeah. Um, and that behavior of her sort of coming up the leash, that's the main thing that's sort of preventing her from being adoptable right now? I mean, it's, I mean, it's a lot of things. Um, the battery has an X. Oh, okay, yeah, it is recording. Example, yeah. Okay. Until the screen dies, you should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, until it's recording. She's just having a grand old time. Like, she just thinks this is a party right now. That's pretty much it. If she can, she'll jump up and grab a hold of you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really letting her get yeah. to me, you know. Um, and it's, you know, I mean, those, the volunteers that are strong enough can do that. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, you know, a lot of them just avoid walking her because, yes. you know, it could be an issue. And then we have the dog issues as well. Right. Okay. And I actually... Yeah, I wouldn't walk her. I mean, she just got my finger. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, So what you're seeing here is the result after only about five or ten minutes of actual leash work with Gabby. We've got her fitted with a prong collar, which is a uh, much better tool for her than what was being used before. See, with just a little bit of work, she's actually walking quite well. Essentially what was going on is to her, the leash was just a source of frustration and pretty simply just a restraint. Um, so she had a lot of frustration in regard to her perception of the leash. By using the leash work techniques that we use with the prong collar, she's viewing the leash now already, even in just five or 10 minutes, as more of a source of communication and not necessarily something that she needs to be concerned about or frustrated about. At the shelter, one of the only tools the volunteers were able to walk her with was a gentle leader, which is a head halter harness type thing that goes over the top of the nose or the snout and controls that way and she was still thrashing around quite a bit even with that tool. She wasn't exactly controllable and the result of which you'll see in a photo I'm about to put up there is a, uh, a band across the top of her nose of uh, scarring from the gentle leader which is unfortunately not too uncommon with that tool. Um, it might take a little while to go away but it will eventually go away and uh, that will not happen now with the prong collar on her. So one of Gabby's issues when she was at the shelter was that she was seen as being a bit unpredictable with other dogs, particularly female dogs and pushy female dogs at that. Uh, here she is out with a bunch of dogs from our pack. The majority of these dogs here uh, belong to us personally. Um, and I have my oldest female, Lila, out. She's the uh, larger brindle dog right there that you see. And she's a very pushy female. Um, so it's, it's very nice to see Gabby already starting to get along, um, not having any problems with us whatsoever. And we honestly didn't have to do a whole lot to get her to this point. We have kind of let the dogs take care of everything. And um, just by having the ability to interact with a group of stable dogs in this manner, she was able to learn exactly what we needed her to learn. And you can see she's doing quite well.
any rehabilitation process here at Canine Connection is going to involve a significant amount of obedience training. I wanted to show some of the exercises that I've been working on with Gabby to help her become a more balanced dog. I'm using quite a bit of food in her training as well as a little bit of leash work. And I'm using the word yes to mark the moment that she makes a good decision. I am not using the word yes to release her out of position, although some people do use it that way. Here, one of my staff members is walking through the room to get some equipment. It provides a great opportunity for a distraction for Gabby, and you can see she handles it quite well. This is what I call a capping exercise. By getting Gabby excited and then giving her a command, it teaches her to go in and out of high excitement states. Now this little exercise here is actually really important. One of Gabby's main issues at the shelter was that anytime people were handling her, she would get extremely mouthy and bite at their hands. So all I'm doing here is touching her neck, petting her, and touching her collar, and then rewarding her for staying calm and not getting mouthy. This is another great distraction proofing exercise. What I'm going to be doing is putting Gabby in a down and then actually stepping outside of the room. That alone provides a very good distraction, but I'm also going to knock on the door. Helping Gabby learn to stay calm through distractions such as door knocking that occur in the real world is going to really help prepare her for whichever family decides to adopt her in the future. Treadmill training is another great aspect of Gabby's rehabilitation. Learning to run on the treadmill helps not only to drain her energy, but also to build focus, self-control, and impulse control. Once Gabby was doing good socializing with our group of dogs that we have here at the center, we wanted to bring her out into one of our socialization classes where other clients will bring their dogs as well. In these classes, not every dog is going to be stable and balanced, and some dogs are going to have insecurities and issues that they are also trying to work through. It's very important for a dog like Gabby to learn how to be around dogs who are both stable and unstable, because out in the real world, not every dog you meet is going to be very stable and balanced.
This interaction is a little bit tense between Gabby and Titan. We're going to let it go for a second to see if either of the dogs make good decisions on their own. But in a moment, Kaylee, who's one of my assistants, is going to step between them just to separate them and ensure that things move along smoothly.